Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and episode number 18 of what sold this week. It's been a really big week actually because we've obviously had the Black Friday sales going on so that's helped things a little bit. Um, I do want to take you through my 10 best sold sales items like I always do but I also want to show you those weekly sales numbers to let you know how I'm tracking along. Uh, if you're into reselling by any means guys, I do three videos on this YouTube channel every single week talking all things online reselling. So if you're into it part-time, casual, full-time, even if you're just thinking about getting into it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like as well. It's very, very much appreciated. Like I said, 10 of my best sold sales items. I'm going to kick things off today with a piece of furniture I sold for a really big profit. So I hope you're excited for it. Let's get into it. First item of the day is this TV entertainment unit that I picked up off Facebook Marketplace for just $50. And I didn't even knuckle it down because it was just such a great buy at that price. It was in 100% condition when I went and picked it up. She literally just had the TV on the wall and no longer needed her entertainment unit. So I've got a really good buy here. I've cleaned it, staged it, presented it back onto Facebook Marketplace on the very same day. And within the space of two days, this one has sold for $250. Now, I did charge $15 for delivery for the lady that did buy it off me, so it turned into a $265 sale and I've profited $215. Now, the lady that bought it, it fit into her house perfectly. She was wrapped with it. I didn't have to do a lot of preparation with it, but what I will say is the entertainment units are just a great space to play in. I've just been selling quite a few of them lately and I am searching for them on Facebook and they are certainly paying off with a very quick turnaround and a very high profit. So if you're into furniture or if you're wanting to get into furniture, I dare say that you should be placing a really good focus on the entertainment units because you'll make a few dollars pretty quick. Item number two is another entertainment unit picked up off Facebook Marketplace for just $60. This one was a great buy as well. There was nothing wrong with it whatsoever. A really good clean, a really good polish, staged it for some pretty good photos, and then had this one listed up on the very same day. And within the space of four days, it went on to sell for $160. Now, it was a $150 sale, and it was a local delivery scenario, and I only charged her $10. But what that $160 overall sale meant was that I ended up profiting $100 from this sale. So entertainment units, like I said, from the first item, they do move really well for me and I was happy to get this second one done this week. I do put them at the start of the episode when I do the what sold this week's on a Sunday because I just want to round out the point that furniture is just such a great space to play in. I know that it does clutter up the house, but you've got to think that you are just buying one item at a time. That's the way you've got to go about it. Move it within the space of a few days, buying really high quality items, solid wood, uh, buy chest of drawers, buy bedside tables, buy desks, buy entertainment units. They're the four that sell really well for me and um, try and just get rid of one at a time. And that way you're not gonna clutter up the house and you're gonna be pocketing around the $100 to $150 if you're buying them around that $50 price point. But um, it's a great space to play in. Happy to get the second one done. Thought I'd add it into the episode. Let's move on to item number three. Next item is this Legend of Zelda Nintendo Wii game that I was actually picking up in a bundled buy of Facebook Marketplace. I bought the console, Nintendo Wii console, and 16 games for $180. This game was actually in that bundle, and I did the comps, and it worked out to be a $70 game. Now, it ended up going on to sell for me for that $70, and when you take out the fees of nine and you take out postage of six, I'm left with about a $54 profit here at the end of the day. It sold within the space of just five days, but I really wanted to, as much as it is a great sale item, for a secondhand game, I really just wanted to highlight the point that if you buy a bulk item like this Nintendo Wii console plus the games and you individually list some of them, you're gonna overall make a larger profit return. So I've got about six of these games that I'm listing individually because I know they all sell for over $20. And then I've got the remaining 10 games which are in lesser value plus the console for about $300 on eBay, which is still a really good buy and it should go on to sell. So at the end of the day, once those six games sell individually, that's gonna be about 150. And when the eBay bundle sells for 300, that's going to be about 450 in collective resale value. Now I've spent initially $180. So at the end of the day, this will be a great result. And I'm confident given the time of the year that everything will sell in a short space of time. So as much as it was a great sale item, the Zelda game, awesome result. I did just want to highlight the fact of breaking up a bulk buy, you're going to make more money doing it that way. Bit of retail arbitrage for this next one. I bought a couple of pairs of socks, Ben Sherman socks from TK Maxx. Uh, well, a few weeks ago now, it's been about two months to be fair. Um, but they did sell during the week, which I was wrapped about. They were only bought for five bucks and overall two pairs of socks in this one bundled sale has gone on to sell plus postage overall collectively for $52.95. Uh, unbelievable stuff. I mean, they were retailing for 35. She's got a good buy, but the fact that I was able to buy them at TK Maxx for five is just ridiculous. 
Uh, the fees were $6.88, the postage was $7.70. I've profited on two pairs of socks, $28.37. And like I said, the sales cycle was 53 days, so I had to wait around for this one. But certainly the time of the year has helped. This is a great stocking filler. Um, knew they would sell. I actually bought another six pairs of these socks. Uh, they are still up listed on eBay, so hopefully they do sell for the same sort of value. Um, but at the end of the day, guys, to profit $28 walking into a shop and buying them at what was their retail price of $5, um, has been a very good turnaround when I've gone to list them onto eBay. So it does pay to do a bit of retail shopping uh, for the sole purpose of resale because there is some profit to be made out there. You've just got to do your digging and work out which items to buy. The next item is a pair of Mizuno women's running shoes. Now, I really wanted to put this into the video today because it is an item that I've actually bought about five or six pairs of over the course of the last month, and they have all gone on to sell in a very, very quick space of time. If you're unfamiliar with the Mizuno brand, pay attention to it and do grab it when you see it out in the op shops or at the garage sales, wherever you might be sourcing from. Um, I bought these in an op shop for just $6, nine out of 10 condition, really, really great buy. Um, sold them for $50, and the postage and the fees, you take all that out, it's been a $29.80 profit here in the space of just 15 days. I do like to profit around $30 when I'm selling pairs of shoes. Um, to be fair, probably got a, could have got a few more dollars with these ones because they were just in such great condition. But the brand is in demand. People are buying this brand and the five or six that I've bought locally through op shops have gone on to sell for around this price on eBay. So a very, very fast moving item, a really good brand to pay attention to. I thought I'd put it into the video to just highlight that this is a shoe that you wanna be looking for. This next item is gonna make you wanna check the plush section of your op shops the next time that you're out. I managed to grab this 1986 ALF Alien Productions plush toy for just $1 and uh, it's actually gone on to sell for $55 on eBay. They do range between $60 to $80 on eBay, but he was actually missing a tooth, uh, this one that I grabbed, and that was always gonna drop the value of him just slightly. But to still get $55 in the space of a 10-day sales cycle, I was wrapped. And you take out your postage, you take out your fees, I'm left with a $34 profit, buying what looked like a pretty dirty, weathered old plush toy for just $1 in the op shops, and you go and make $34 profit. So do pay attention to the plush toys. Some of them can be worth quite a bit of money and I was really happy to find out he's uh, made me a bit of money. If you watched my last episode of A Trip to the Thrift on Thursday, you would have seen that I picked up these yoga books for just $4, $2 each, and the resale value was about $110 when I did my scans on eBay. Now, I put these up as a bundled buy, the two books in the one listing, and I took an offer of $80 for these, and when you take out the fees and the postage and everything else, I was left with a $57.90 profit on a next day sale for a pair of books. An unbelievable result. They always normally take a little bit longer to sell, but for a $4 in to get a $57 profit, I was absolutely stoked with this result. Um, the scenario, I guess, with book, the books for me, uh, I always look for hardcover, and I always look for sort of medical, um, medical type books or health and fitness type books. Cooking books can be pretty good, but I always think first edition hardcover, you know, stuff like this, where it's like medical or health or science, um, is always a pretty good space to play in for the books. And I didn't think these would move as quick as they did. And I wasn't even sure if I was gonna get the full resale value, even though there was a lot of sell-through rate on this price. But in, sure enough, the very next day, I've been able to pocket 57.90 and um, I was pretty happy with it. I've also sold this VCR as well. And believe it or not, they are still selling on eBay. Uh, really cool result here. This one sold on an offer for $85. I picked this one up for free off Facebook Marketplace with about four or five other electronic items. And I've only got one of the items left to sell. They've all gone on to sell and they were just your old school equipment items like this one, like the VCR. Um, so there is no in uh, purchase price on this one. It's gone on to sell for 85. Postage is 12 bucks, the fees are 11. I've profited $61.95 of simply going around to this lady's house and picking it up. So it's sold within the space of 32 days. Like I said, I've been able to move quite a number of other items. I think I'm up to about $280 worth of profit of four of the five items that have gone on to sell for this lady. And I've just got the one item left, which is actually just here at my feet. And once that moves, this will be an over $300 profit purchase of Facebook Marketplace for free. Without a doubt, my best buy of Facebook Marketplace for a free item. So happy to get the result here on this one, $62 in my pocket for really not a lot of work. I turned it on, make sure it worked, and I went and picked it up from her house. That's all I did. And then I put the listing up and it sold for 60 bucks. So um, the old school, the VCRs, they do still sell, believe it or not. Um, happy to get the result with that one. 
Now, if you're watching my Tuesday episode, you would have seen that I picked up this New Zealand Warriors polo shirt for just $5 in the op shop. And I put it onto eBay, actually going in pretty blind because there were no comps to go off. But this one was the DB Bitter logo, 1990s Nike, completely authentic. I knew there was gonna be a collector out there that would love to get their hands on this. And I sold it for $49 free postage, but they did request that it go to Wellington, New Zealand. And I didn't look into the international postage charges and I have spent a little bit more than what I would like to have. It came to $14 worth of post, $6 worth of fees, and I've only profited $23 for the sale of this polo shirt. So I've learned a bit of a lesson there to obviously look into the postage charges before I commit to a sale, but this one sold for $49, so it is a great space to play in. Do look out for the vintage retro sporting memorabilia, because there are super fans out there that love to collect these items, and there was no surprise that this one sold on the very same day. I probably should have listed this one for $60 to $70, but at the end, $23, bucks profit can't complain so they were my 10 best sold sales items of the week guys hopefully you got a bit of a kick out of those let me know in the comments below what was your best sold sales item this week because it really does help me go out and find that same item as well but i really want to take you through my weekly sales numbers like i always do just to let you know how i'm sort of tracking along and it was the black friday sales on Friday, and that certainly has helped things a little bit as well. So we'll pull the grid up and I'll let you have a look at the numbers. I've been able to sell 35 items this week, which is a little bit above average. I'm generally a tick under 30 on a weekly basis. My cost of goods, $343. My total sales worked out to $1,343. And my profit was 49 cents under the $1,000. So $999.51. It is the afternoon here on Sunday, so I might be able to flick myself over the grand with one more sale. But the profit margin was strong with 76%. So guys, the Black Friday sales have really helped me out a lot. I've um, promoted a few of my listings and I've put a majority store-wide sale of 10% off as well on my eBay store. Store. I've had a couple of really good sales this weekend on Facebook Marketplace. So really this last weekend period, Friday, Saturday and today has really helped finalize to be a really good week of sales numbers. So it was looking pretty quiet up until about Thursday, but then the, the weekend has certainly helped things to get it up to about 1350. But $1,000 profit, if you did that every week, you're on $52,000 a year. And that's my goal. I want to sustain $1,000 in profit each and every week. And I'm not too far off being at that point. So things are tracking along really, really well. Um, I'm hoping that December can be a pretty good month that we have coming up. Obviously, Christmas will play a little part in that. Um, I am wary, though, of the postage time before an item can actually receive. So whether or not that causes people not to buy as much in December and they've done all their buying now. We'll have to wait and see. I'm going into my very first December on a reselling front for the very first time this year. So it'll be interesting to see what next month holds. Um, I'm gonna put a video out on Tuesday, I've decided, which will talk you through all of my numbers from a holistic uh, monthly standpoint. So you'll be able to see sort of how many items I've bought, what I've been able to sell my items for, etc., and what my overall sales results were. So I'm gonna bring you collectively all of that information on Tuesday, which I hope you get an enjoyment out of. Um, but it's been a really good week this week. To do a thousand bucks, I'm always very happy when I hit a thousand dollars worth of profit. So um, it has been great. I'm working a lot of hours. I will say that reselling, um, it, it does take a lot of time and you are working seven days a week. I, I would hate to look at the hourly rate, um, but there's a bigger picture here and I really do think that this can turn into earning me quite a bit more money. Um, there's a few things that I wanna get into later on down the track that will hopefully balloon these figures up quite a bit. But for now, as I'm slowly growing and, and working my way up to do a thousand bucks at a 76 percent profit margin i'm pretty happy things are going okay and hopefully december is uh, is just as good so that's everything for today hopefully you enjoyed that episode hopefully you enjoyed seeing the numbers hopefully it motivates you to keep charging away and working really hard to uh to do well in uh, your own reselling space um any questions obviously let me know in the comments below i love to get comments um so please put whatever you're thinking in the comments below good bad or ugly and uh, until the next episode on tuesday where i take you through my november sales numbers uh, we'll see you then. Have a good one, guys. See you soon.